I like to take you for a few moments of my first experience in leading somebody to the Lord. I will never ever forget in my life the huge person who was lying down on the sand at that time. He had a green small bikini and a bumpy stomach, hairy chest. And looking at him, you know, and his eyes were so big and I was almost frightened. Ooh. I couldn't even move. I was having the clipboard in my hand and the four spiritual laws, but I looked at him the second time and he didn't even pay much attention. So I was thinking that, you know, the whole floor is going down and down and down. So I was just thinking, what is ha going to happen? <laughs> this is my last day. And then all on a sudden I felt that I should see whether how he respond and turn my face to him. And then he said, what do you want? And I almost fell at his feet. And I said that this is the end of my life. But anyway, I said that, you know, I like to read this book. And I said that God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. Then immediately he said, stop. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me. Don't tell me that God loves me. Make the story short. In 43 minutes, this person with tears in his eyes, he prayed to invite Christ. You know, I never expected that he will say yes to the Lord. And uh, he was a PhD student at that time. And uh, he became a Christian professor after that. I was so, so thankful to the Lord that he gave me that experience. And that is the person who was shivering like this when he was first introducing somebody to the Lord is the person now God transformed my life because of his faithfulness and because of his grace.